Offense in the second half, what did you see in a gutsy final drive too? You know, really proud of how we finished. You know, there in the third quarter, you know, we had some opportunities to get the ball moving, but we were our own worst enemy. I think we had a good call on the slant, and the ball goes right through the hands of the receiver. They pick it off, and then we have a good play down in the red zone. That's going to lead, uh, lead to potentially points, and we put the ball on the ground. So in the third half, in the third quarter, a little bit sloppy in terms of ball security, but really, really proud of the of the heart of the champion that the offense had in the second. I mean, in the fourth quarter to come back with two big drives uh, to help win the game. What do you tell your guys in the second half after they had such a hard Time finding their rhythm. Just keep playing because it comes down to uh, football games are won by players making plays. You know, obviously it's our job to have a scheme, but at the end of the day, all we can do is put you in position. And you have to go make plays. So I know that Coach Winnie challenged them down on the sideline. Everybody challenged each of their position groups, and at the end of the day, put them in position and players made plays to win the game. Obviously, you can't watch the watch the film, but how do you critique Deshaun's performance tonight? You know, gutsy performance. Uh, obviously, you know he made the throws when we needed to make the throws. Got off to a little bit of a slow start in the first quarter, uh, but found his rhythm. Uh, was able to be effective running the ball, uh, which helped us out. So, got to go back and evaluate it again. Anytime you have a lot of turnovers, uh, obviously you're going to focus on that. But just proud of our guys for finding a way to win. That drive at the end of the first half. Some teams might even take a knee there. Tell me what your thinking was and how that was all executed. Well, just, you know, being aggressive. Um, we, you know, we practice two-minute drives, uh, you know, every week in practice and, and understanding that, you know, we're a fast-paced, up-tempo team, and if we get enough time on the clock, we can go down and score. So the biggest thing was, you know, trying to put pressure on the defense and, again, help our defense out by getting out to a big lead. So it was just, you know, us executing what we do on Wednesdays in practice. Was there any discussion up there about maybe we should take a knee here and not make a mistake? No, no discussion at all. You know, we want to be aggressive. Um, you know, aggressive workforce early in the game by throwing the ball down the field. I know we missed a couple early, but we finally connected. But, you know, we're at our best when we can dictate the pace of the game, we can be aggressive, we run the ball when we want to, and throw the ball when we want to. Did you get a chance to see Lamar Jackson at all? I did not. You know, I, I mean, a lot, ton of respect for that young man. I mean, he's a, he's a great competitor. You can see that he has the heart of a champion. You know, he was he was fighting all the way to the last, uh, obviously, explosive playmaker. You know, don't know him personally, but got a lot of respect for him and for Louisville's football team. Tony, in a game that has so many momentum swings and the emotions going one way or the other, to have a guy that's always as calm and steady as Deshaun, how important is that in terms of, like, how you guys responded to those situations? You know, because the biggest thing is you can't panic, and, and that's what we talked about going into this game, that at this 2016 offense, we got to create our own identity. You know, the identity of the team last year offensively was that we never panicked. We took what was there. And these guys are starting to pick up with that, and it all starts with Deshaun. It starts with the coaching staff to make sure that we're calm and poised in those situations to make sure that we can think clearly. And obviously, it's, it's a cat-and-mouse game that you're going to have to change some things, look at some different schemes throughout the course of a game to make adjustments to get yourself in a position to make plays. Were you glad to see Wayne get back to 100 yards? Look more like Wayne. You know, re really, really excited for him. Today's his birthday, so that was a, was a heck of a birthday present for him. And uh, we challenged him before the game. But you know, he's a he's an unselfish team guy. Uh, but obviously, he's a, he's a big part of what we do. So it's really good to see the running game, you know, be be effective. You know, I think we only have one lost yard uh, play in the run game. And I think both Deshaun and he averaged uh, you know six yards or more. Was that Deshaun running tonight? Was that by design or just kind of how it played out? You know, I think a little bit of both. You know, obviously, uh, when you're playing a defense, you know, like Louisville's, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna load the box and then you're going to have to have an answer for it. And obviously, not every situation can you just, you know, drop back and throw the ball. So you got to be effective running the football. And anytime that he can take off and run, you pick up a lead blocker with the uh, tailback.